And uh, we will discuss now the use of anterior segment ultrasound biomicroscopy uh, with the Accutome unit. We added the Accutome UBM unit to our office about three years ago. Uh, I was primarily interested in negative dysphotopsia and felt that it was important to evaluate uh, posterior chamber anatomy and relationships between the iris and uh, posterior chamber lens and the capsule bag. No other tool can evaluate these relationships for us. Uh, also, uh, I added a, a corneal specialist to the practice and uh, my partner, Dr. Fram, uh, felt it was essential uh, to have a good investigation of the posterior chamber for her pathologic cases as well. Uh, we use it particularly to investigate the relationships of anatomic structures in the posterior chamber. We look at posterior chamber depth and volume with regard to lens implants. We look uh, for the positioning of the lens haptics. Uh, one of the unfortunate complications of uh, single piece acrylic lens implants is should one haptic miss the capsule bag, uh, it can rub on the iris and induce manifestations of the UGH syndrome. In cases that, poor, that poorly dilate, this really helps us understand whether the loops are in the bag or out of the bag. It's been very helpful in that regard. It also is helpful in measuring uh, sulcus to sulcus uh, diameter uh, for uh, ICL implantation um, and also, as I mentioned, in our studies for, um, for dysphotopsia. Uh, one other thing that's useful, and we compare it, in fact, with OCT anatomy when looking at uh, angle anatomy in our cases of suspected narrow angle glaucoma. Uh, the UBM was really critical in management of a young man who was in an automobile accident. Uh, unfortunately, he struck the right orbit against the steering wheel, sustained a fractured orbit, but in, in addition, significant damage to the eye, uh, including a cyclodialysis and had hypotony lasting over a few months with subsequent swelling in the macula or what we call hypotenuse maculopathy and very poor central vision. A cataract ensued uh, and we were able to use uh, the Accutome UBM to define the presence of the cyclodialysis and measure its extent. And then at surgery, uh, I used an Ahmed segment to close the cyclodialysis cleft and reverse the hypotony. Um, absent the UBM, I don't think we would have been able to pinpoint the location and the extent of the cyclodialysis. It was very helpful in that particular case. Uh, the anterior segment OCT device uh, and the UBM differ in certain ways. Uh, OCT gives us very good definition of corneal uh, anatomy and architecture. The main problem, however, with OCT is that one cannot image behind the iris. So I like to think that the uh, UBM is essential for posterior chamber relationships uh, and for anywhere beyond the iris that, and this cannot be studied by OCT as it cannot visualize behind opaque structures. Uh, in staff training, the learning curve is not that difficult, particularly if they're accustomed to performing A-scan ultrasonography for IOL power measurements. Uh, also, uh, we found that the company was very helpful in training our staff. So I don't think that this is a particular obstacle in adapting the technology. At the Accutome UBM was completely essential uh, in my ability to understand uh, the mechanisms for negative dysphotopsia. Uh, before we had this tool available, there were many different concepts as to what the etiology was. Um, as you may know, uh, my partner and I, Dr. Nicole Fram, published an article on what we believe is the mechanism for negative dysphotopsia and surgical cures. Uh, the article appeared in the July issue of the Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery. And if you look at that article, you will see uh, some excellent UBMs and how they uh, enable us to understand the anatomy and the ultimate causes for this problem. Uh, so it really was indispensable for me in dealing with a topic of great interest to me personally.